could wormholes, warp drives, or quantum physics unlock a way to beat the universal speed limit? Let's uncover the mind-bending science behind faster-than-light travel. To understand why faster-than-light travel, or FTL, seems so far out of reach, we first need to grasp the fundamental limit of our universe, the speed of light. At approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, this isn't just fast. It's the fastest anything can move in space. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as you approach this speed, the energy required to keep accelerating grows infinitely large. In other words, physics itself pulls the brakes on anything trying to cross this ultimate threshold. But let's compare that cosmic speed limit to the sluggish pace of our own spacecraft. Take the Voyager 1 probe, humanity's farthest traveled emissary. Launched in 1977, it's cruising at a respectable 61,000 kilometers per hour. Yet at that speed, it would take over 73,000 years to reach even the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. Similarly, the New Horizons spacecraft, famous for its flyby of Pluto, is no faster. These are staggering timescales, ones that render interstellar exploration almost inconceivable. So, how could we break free from these constraints? Scientists and visionaries have proposed several intriguing concepts. The first is the warp drive, an idea pulled straight from science fiction, but grounded in some theoretical physics. Imagine bending the fabric of space itself, compressing it in front of a spaceship and expanding it behind. So the vessel effectively surfs through space-time without technically moving faster than light. Wild, isn't it? Then there are wormholes, hypothetical shortcuts through space-time. Picture folding a sheet of paper so two distant points touch. A wormhole, if it exists, would allow you to step across this folded connection almost instantaneously. Finally, we have quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where particles seem to leap across barriers instantaneously. While it's observed on atomic scales, could this principle someday scale up for starships? Could the laws of physics themselves hold the key to breaking their own limits? Or are we destined to remain bound by the cosmic speed limit, dreaming of the stars but never truly reaching them? Think about this. 299,592 kilometers per second versus the painstakingly slow speeds of our fastest probes. Right now, interstellar travel feels like trying to swim across the Pacific Ocean with a spoon as a paddle. Yet, Humanity has always been defined by its ability to transcend limits. Could faster-than-light travel be our next great leap? But even as we ponder these futuristic ideas, there's another question to consider. What would the consequences of breaking the light barrier actually be? Could there be hidden dangers waiting beyond the speed of light? Let's explore that next. Imagine bending space-time like a sheet of paper bringing two distant points together so they touch. Could this fantastical idea turn science fiction into reality? If so, humanity might finally have its ticket to the stars, and the answer lies in one of the most intriguing theoretical concepts of our time, the warp drive. The Alcubierre drive, proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994, suggests a way to achieve faster-than-light travel without violating the laws of physics. Instead of moving the ship itself at superluminal speeds, the drive would warp space around it. Think of space-time as a flexible fabric. By compressing space ahead of a spacecraft and expanding it behind, the ship could effectively ride a warp bubble, moving vast distances without ever technically traveling faster than light. This clever workaround is why warp drives remain a tantalizing possibility in theoretical physics. But there's a catch, several in fact. The creation of a warp bubble hinges on a property called negative energy density, a form of exotic matter that would counteract the natural tendency of space-time to remain flat. In theory, negative energy could be used to stabilize the warp bubble, 
and allow for faster-than-light travel. However, exotic matter is not something we've observed or can produce with current technology. And that's just the beginning of the challenges. The energy requirements for a warp drive are astronomical, literally. Early calculations suggested it would take energy equivalent to the mass of Jupiter to generate a single warp bubble. To put that into perspective, this is far beyond anything our current or foreseeable energy sources could produce. Recent refinements in the theory have suggested ways to reduce this requirement, but even the scaled-down estimates are daunting. Additionally, there are concerns about stability. Could a warp bubble collapse unpredictably? Would it produce dangerous side effects, such as radiation, that could destroy the spacecraft or nearby planets? These are critical questions that remain unanswered. If we can't create exotic matter yet, are we destined to remain subluminal travelers? Or will humanity's ingenuity find a way to overcome these monumental hurdles? The warp drive may be one of the most ambitious concepts ever conceived, but history has shown us that what seems impossible today could be commonplace tomorrow. For now, the dream of a warp drive remains in the realm of theory. The energy requirements and exotic materials may feel like insurmountable roadblocks, but even discussing these ideas pushes the boundaries of what we believe is achievable. Could this be the first step toward a future where interstellar travel is no longer just a fantasy? But while warp drives are exciting, they're not the only idea on the table. What about other ways to cheat the cosmic speed limit? Let's explore some of those next. What if the quickest way across the universe wasn't a straight line, but a fold? Imagine bending space like a piece of paper so that two distant points touch, creating a shortcut. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction. It's the fascinating concept of wormholes, or what physicists call Einstein-Rosen bridges. Wormholes are a theoretical solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity. In simple terms, they act as tunnels through space-time, connecting two far-flung regions of the universe. To visualize this, think of space as a two-dimensional sheet of paper. Normally, to travel from one end to the other, you'd have to follow a straight path along the surface. But if you fold the paper so the ends meet, you can step directly from one point to the other essentially bypassing the distance in between. A wormhole would function in much the same way, allowing for near-instantaneous travel between points that might otherwise be separated by light years. The potential applications of wormholes are mind-boggling. They could enable not only interstellar travel, but also instantaneous communication across vast distances. Imagine sending a message or even an entire spacecraft to the other side of the galaxy in the blink of an eye. For civilizations exploring the cosmos, wormholes would be the ultimate cosmic shortcut. However, the challenges are as enormous as the possibilities. For starters, while wormholes exist mathematically, no physical evidence of their existence has been found. Even if they do exist, Creating or maintaining a stable wormhole might require exotic matter with negative energy density, much like the theoretical requirements for a warp drive. Without this exotic matter, a wormhole would likely collapse faster than anything could pass through it. There's also the question of what happens inside a wormhole. Could it stretch or distort objects? Would it generate intense radiation, effectively destroying anything that enters? In short, Stepping into a wormhole might feel more like playing cosmic roulette than taking a shortcut. Would entering a wormhole even be survivable? Or are we talking about an interstellar gamble with incredibly high stakes? These questions remain unanswered, but they underscore just how speculative the concept of wormholes truly is. For now, they remain a mathematical curiosity rather than a practical tool for exploration. Still, the idea of wormholes fires the imagination. While they may be beyond our reach today, they represent humanity's relentless drive to push boundaries and seek new ways to explore the universe.
But wormholes are just one of many ways scientists are reimagining travel among the stars. What about using the mysterious quirks of quantum physics? Let's delve into that next. Could particles, the tiniest building blocks of our universe, teach us the secrets of faster-than-light travel? Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the bizarre behavior of particles at microscopic scales, offers some tantalizing hints that the impossible might one day become possible. One phenomenon at the heart of quantum mechanics is quantum tunneling. Imagine a particle facing a barrier, something it seemingly lacks the energy to cross. In classical physics, it would simply bounce back. But in the quantum realm, particles don't play by the usual rules. Instead, they occasionally tunnel through the barrier appearing on the other side as if the obstacle didn't exist. This strange behavior defies our everyday understanding of how the world works. Now, what if we could apply this principle on a macro scale? Theoretically, a spacecraft might be able to harness quantum tunneling to bypass obstacles in space-time, or even leap past the speed of light. It's a speculative idea, but one rooted in a proven quantum phenomenon. In fact, quantum tunneling isn't just theoretical, it's already used in modern technology, such as semiconductors and quantum computing. These applications suggest that the principles of tunneling can scale up to practical use, though we're far from understanding how to use them for interstellar travel. At the core of this possibility lies the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that we cannot precisely measure both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. This fuzziness in the quantum world could potentially create opportunities for faster-than-light scenarios. If particles can borrow energy or momentarily defy the constraints of space-time to tunnel through barriers, why couldn't a spaceship, or perhaps even a human, someday do the same? If particles can cheat the rules of space-time, why can't we? The question points to the fundamental gap between what we observe in the quantum world and what we can achieve at human scales. The roadblocks are significant. Scaling quantum effects to large, macroscopic objects like a spacecraft would require breakthroughs in energy, stability, and understanding of quantum coherence, factors that remain elusive for now. Still, quantum tunneling gives us a glimpse of what might be possible. Technologies like semiconductors, which power our modern devices, prove that quantum mechanics isn't just theoretical, it's transformative. If humanity can one day harness the quantum world for space travel, the stars might no longer be out of reach. But quantum physics isn't our only avenue for exploration. Could another force, hidden in the universe, offer a new way forward? Let's explore that idea next. Throughout our journey, we've explored the tantalizing possibilities of faster-than-light travel. From the theoretical elegance of warp drives bending space-time itself, to the cosmic shortcuts offered by wormholes, and even the quantum quirks of tunneling particles, the dream of breaking the speed of light has taken many forms. Yet, each idea comes with challenges that feel as vast as the distances we hope to cross, be it the enormous energy demands, the need for exotic matter, or the sheer unpredictability of the quantum realm. These hurdles remind us just how far we are from turning these concepts into reality. But let's take a step back and consider what history has taught us. Humanity has never been content to stay grounded. From the first stone tools to the launch of Voyager 1, every step forward was once thought impossible. The speed of light may seem like a cosmic brick wall, but what if it's just another hurdle? One that, with enough ingenuity, creativity, and perseverance, we might one day overcome. What do you think? Are we destined for the stars to transcend the limits of our current understanding? Or are the laws of physics immovable, keeping us confined to our small corner of the universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.
And if you've enjoyed this journey through the mysteries of faster-than-light travel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of science and space. The universe is vast, and our curiosity is boundless. Perhaps, someday, the stars won't just be lights in the sky. They'll be destinations waiting to be explored. Until then, let's keep asking questions and dreaming of what lies beyond.